The teacher is, of course, an artist, but being an artist does not mean that he or she can make the profile, can shape the students. What the educator does in teaching is to make it possible for the students to become themselves. Paolo Frieri. as you enjoy our video. What do you envision as the ideal classroom for gifted and advanced learners? Using the sticky notes on the table, answer the posted questions. Within the gifted classroom, we must differentiate for all of our different learning styles. While traditional classrooms are often comfortable, they're generally not engaging for our new modern students. Modern classrooms must engage the modern student. Therefore, it must have differentiated learning opportunities, and it must appeal to the many different learning styles and needs of the gifted and advanced population. The ideal gifted classroom should be a safe space for our gifted and advanced students, a place in which they will learn, lead, and grow through engaging curriculum, unique opportunities, and higher level work. In the advanced or gifted classroom, PBLs, project-based learning, or problem-based learning are often used to engage students at high levels. This is a teaching method in which students gain knowledge and skills by working for an extended period of time to investigate and respond to authentic, engaging, and complex question, problem, or challenge. In order to engage our students, affective needs of negotiating solutions, making personal connections, and analyzing their societies, PBLs should be culturally responsive. PBLs completed at Lindley Sixth Grade Academy focused on being culturally responsive. In a cross-curricular PBL, the science and English departments work with their water wars between Florida, Georgia, and Alabama. Students were able to make personal connections through relating with their communities and the unique needs of our state. 
students also had to carefully analyze their societies as they considered the benefits and cost of sharing water with neighboring states. Students negotiated solutions through contacting the governor with their plans. Lindley Sixth Grade Academy's English department also participated in an iCommunity project in which students read March by John Lewis, wrote personal narratives about their experiences with prejudice, interviewed a family or community member about their experiences with prejudice, and created a presentation, a paper, or an art piece with an explanation around an issue they see in their communities. This presentation, art piece, or paper had to include a solution and had to be sent to a community leader of the student's choice. This created personal connections for students, both amongst themselves as they shared their experiences, as well as with family and community members who were interviewed. Students also had to analyze their societies and negotiate solutions through recognizing problems and developing solutions for their communities. In student reflections, both PBLs, students overwhelmingly self-reported their enjoyment of the PBLs. Likewise, Lindley Sixth Grade Academy reported some of its lowest ever instances of referrals or other disciplinary actions. Thank you so much.